Hello, today we will look at the mind and what it is when it comes to influencing our lives. In 1903, a book by the name of As a Man Thinketh was published that was written by a man called James Allen. In the beginning of the book, he wrote the following epigram. Mind is the master power that molds and makes, and man is mind, and evermore he takes a tool of thought and shaping what he wills, brings forth a thousand joys, a thousand ills. He thinks in secret and it comes to pass. Environment is but his looking glass. Now, in the epigram, man means humankind, and that means every single one of us that is alive today. And we are our mind. That means that every thought, belief, idea, bias that we have is who and what we are. It is in our mind how we imagine things can be and could be. What James Allen referred to in his book as the molding and the making. Everything that we see around us was at some point just an idea. When the Wright brothers imagined a flying machine, they first saw it in their minds and then it became a reality. Before the first satellite was sent into space, it was first imagined and then created. Michelangelo first saw the sculpture and then pulled the sculpture out of the stone. We use our ability to think and to imagine. We use that tool of thought to create the world that we want to live in, the environment and the life that we want to lead. All that we are, our self-image, our ego, our thoughts, our biases, our beliefs, our fears, they all exist in our mind. All that we are, all that we can be, is our mind. Our physical body is what carries us through this life, but it is through our mind that we begin to create the life that we want. Now, our mind is limitless. There isn't anything that we cannot imagine. It is timeless. We can think of things of the past, and at the same time, we can still taste them, touch them, feel them. We can also change them. We can change that image. And we can also dream of things in the future. We imagine them. And at the same time, we can smell, taste, touch those things, and again, change those feelings. Our mind is a goal-seeking mechanism. It has no choice but to follow the ideas, beliefs, and biases that we place in it. But to use it correctly, we must become the captain. We must get in control of our mind. We must control our thoughts so they are beneficial and not detrimental to our complete welfare. We must understand that everything starts in our mind from which we create our environment, our life. Lastly, if you can imagine it, then you can achieve it. See, you wouldn't be able to have the idea, you wouldn't be able to imagine it in the first place if you weren't capable of it. Our mind is the master power which we use to imagine our life, to mold and make, to create the environment and the life that we want. So use your mind proactively and to your benefit to create the life that you want to have. And remember, if you can imagine it, then you can hold it in your hand. Thank you for joining me here. Have a lovely weekend. And remember, if you want to keep following these videos, just subscribe on YouTube.